Hi, I'm Teresa with Inflectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the editions of the system, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create releases in Spira. So let's get started. Okay, here we are in Spira Plan. I'm in my sample empty product two, and I've already defined some requirements for this product that you can see here on the requirement list page. So I'm ready to enter some releases. To do that from the artifact drop-down menu, I'm going to select releases. And the empty list page is displayed with the toolbar here at the top and the filter row just below. So I'll hit this insert button here in the top left and enter my first release, 1.0. Spiral will suggest a version number. So I'll leave that as is. And I'm gonna make this release two months. So I'll just update that end date. You can see that the default type here is major release, uh, but you can update the type uh, based on your specific business needs. So I'm gonna hit save and new and enter an additional release. This will be release uh, 1.0. One, and I will make a slight update to the suggestion here. And then this release will start in January and also go for a couple of months. So it will end in March. Great. So now that I have my major releases, I wanna go ahead and break up this first release into some sprints. So the easiest way to do that will be to select the checkbox next to that release 1.1 and use the insert child sprint option. So my first sprint will be release 1.0 sprint one, like that. Uh, and I'm okay with that default window of a month here. You can see the system updated the type to be sprint because we use that insert child sprint option. So I'll save that and then I'll enter one more child sprint duplicating those actions. Sprint two, the version number looks great. And here I'll have this one begin in December and end at the end of the release in January. You can have overlapping sprints because you might have two different teams, but uh, I chose to just do these sequentially. One other thing to note here is that you can see that the start date for that release and the first sprint are highlighted in red. The current status of the release is just planned at the moment. It hasn't been started, so it's not in progress. And the system is just saying, um, hey, it should have started today and it hasn't, so it's late. The next thing we wanna do is some resource planning for uh, these releases. So to do that, we want to first show those fields. So I'm gonna show the number of re resources here. And I want to add another column for this plan effort here. Spira defaults the number of resources to one. And then the plan effort, it calculates based on the number of resources and the number of hours that you have set for a working day and the number of days that you have set for a standard work week. If you'd like to make updates to those defaults, you can do so by accessing the product administration planning, planning options here. So if I open those in a new tab, here you can see that the work hours per day default is eight hours and then there's a five day work week. So I'm okay with those defaults. Let's return back to our releases list page. And I'm gonna do a bulk edit so that I can update the number of resources available for that first release. So I'm gonna change for the release and the sprints, uh, 
adding two resources. And as I save, you can see that the plan effort has now uh, doubled based on that resource allocation. One other thing I wanted to mention is that though you are able to make uh, lots of bulk edits just on this list page, releases do have their own detail page. So if we click on the link for a release, you can see on the overview tab, here are those fields that we've been updating from the list page, the version number, start and end date, and number of resources. And then there's some additional tabs with more information pertinent to that release as well. Thanks so much for watching this Spyro release video today. We have more Spyro explainer videos for you to explore on this channel. Check them out now.